Active Campaign Restart Automation. In this video, we're going to talk about putting a contact back into an automation at a particular step. And I use a combination of a tag plus goal. In this case, my tag is called panic because something went wrong and I need to fix it right away. And this is useful if for whatever reason a contact mistakenly exited an automation, a multi-step automation. So let's dive right in. So this is actually a, an example of why you would want to use this or how you would use this. And this is kind of a simplified version of a scenario I went through. So we have a drip automation that sends out emails over time. So customer gets put in here, wait a few minutes, send them a welcome email, wait until Monday at 8 a.m., send them email one, and then repeat that every week, send out an email. So it goes along great, makes sense. You wait a few minutes, you send an email, you wait a few more minutes. But let me show you how my implementation wasn't quite right. But in this case, I said email, wait till 8 a.m. on Monday, send email one, wait till Monday, 8 a.m., email two, wait till, wait till Monday, 8 a.m., email three. Now, two and three are in draft mode, so there's nothing there to be sent to them. So we wanna make sure that they're holding it at that place. However, the way this is set up right now is when somebody comes here, they're gonna wait until Monday at 8 a.m., send an email, and right here, they're not going to wait till next week. If they meet these criteria, they're going to keep passing through. So unless this starts like at 8.59, 59 seconds, they're going to pass on to this one, which will then go to here. And guess what? Hey, Monday 8 a.m., it's still that time. So they end up, we end up trying to send three emails almost immediately. Not good. What I wanted to have happen, send an email here, and then wait till here. So a couple things to do, or actually one thing to do is put a delay right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a wait, and I'm gonna do, in this case, two hours, just to be absolutely certain it's no longer 8 a.m. Of course, one hour should work, but I just, uh, I wanna do hours. It wouldn't hurt to do days, but two hours is exactly what I need just to make sure. So every time there's a wait until a current day of the week, current time, I'm also gonna put in a delay that just waits for a couple hours, and then, then they can go and wait until Monday the next week. So that's that would have prevented that from happening. But I still have the problem that the people that saw email one and are supposed to be waiting for this are already passed through. I need to get them back in waiting this step, or at least waiting here. And this is where my panic goal, panic, tag comes into play. So if I can identify my contacts, I'm going to apply a panic tag that's going to put them right here. So let me show you how that works. So first thing is go in here, you want to create a goal. And because it's a panic situation, I call it panic, I use a tag called panic. And it's important to make sure nobody else has this tag. So whenever you use it, you should also get rid of it. So if that tag exists, you wanna pull them down to here. I'm just gonna save that. And then immediately I'm gonna do cleanup. So for contact, I wanna remove a tag at this point. Panic. That'll put them back here into the two hour wait, wait till Monday, 8 a.m. So the great thing is I'm gonna put them in here. They're gonna pass all the way down here they're gonna get cleaned up on the tag and then they're gonna be back in business waiting till the next Monday. So let's give it a try. First thing is you really do wanna make sure nobody has the panic tag. So I'm gonna go in here and this is only, this isn't everybody in here, but let me just show you what I do. Edit, I'm gonna remove a tag. I'm going to remove the panic tag. I'm gonna apply those changes. Go ahead and do that. I don't wanna do all the steps in one go round because I don't want them to collide with each other or one happens out of order. I wanna make sure it's cleaned up. Next thing I wanna do is I want to apply the tag. So I'm just to be safe, I'm gonna go edit this person. And do I have the panic tag? No, whatever, let's... Let's put the panic tag on there. 
and then I'm going to stick them in the automation. I think it's called drip, if I remember right. Click on OK. Now I should jump down to where that panic goal is. If I refresh this, I'm probably going to see some information over here on the right. So I reached a goal in here. So let's go take a look. So notice I was added. I skipped over everything prior to the goal. I've got my panic tag removed and I'm sitting here where I should have been after having that first email. So at this point, I should not have the panic tag, but I'm sitting here waiting at the right place. There we go. So that's how you restart an automation inactive campaign.